Hi everybody, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your first Zap in Zapier. The first thing you want to do is log into your account. Um, I'm already logged in and once you're here on your dashboard, you just want to click make a Zap. And what I want to do is create an integration with MailChimp um, so that when a customer gets added to my Launch27 account, they will automatically get synced to MailChimp. So the first thing you want to do is select your trigger app, which is Launch27. So just type in Launch27 here. And I want to choose the customer created Zap. Here, I will have to connect my Launch27 account. So click here. Now I'm going to have to go grab my API key. So I'm going to go to my Launch27 account and grab that real quick. So here I am on the in my settings area and you want to click on the sandbox access tab. So if you haven't already, you're going to want to create an API key. So just click this button and you'll see uh, a key pop up. Uh, for security reasons, I'm not going to actually show my own API key, but just click this button here. It'll appear, copy that, and then go back to Zapier. Here I am back in Zapier. All you have to do is enter in, uh, paste your key right here, and then um, enter in your subdomain, and then click continue. Okay, so my account is now connected. My Launch27 account is connected. If you want, you can just change this to whatever. Uh, I can say that's my subdomain, so I'll just change it like that. So, okay. If you want, you can also test it to see if the connection works. It does. Um, just go to save and continue. Um, here it's going to ask you to, you can see if Zapier can find the most recently added customer. For example purposes, I'm not going to go ahead and do this. You can if you want. All you would have to do is create a new customer or create a booking for a brand new customer. Then click fetch and continue and it'll be able to pick it up. Okay, here I am where I want to choose the action. Now the action is basically uh, what you want to do with whatever event or trigger happened in Launch27. So again, I want to add a new customer to MailChimp. So I will just click MailChimp, it's right up here. Or if you have like Infusionsoft or uh, Salesforce, whatever, right? But MailChimp is right here, I'm just gonna click it. I want to add or update subscriber. Connect my account. Uh, again, it's going to, just like in the previous step when you connected your Launch27 account, you're either going to have to uh, paste in some sort of API key. So I'm just going to do this real quick and then skip over to the next step. All right, so I just connected my MailChimp account. I'm testing it. it shows that it's connected properly. So continue here for my list um, I have a bunch of different kinds of lists in here so I don't I'm not gonna choose it I'm not gonna film that part but I have a test list that I added to I'm gonna select that and email required so here just click here and this is all the information that launch 27 will pass over so just click on email so that it gets saved this Launch27 email field will save into the MailChimp email field. So just click that. Uh, I'm just going to leave the default settings for all this stuff. And um, that's about it. And uh, I'm going to fill this out and then go continue. You can see here that, you know, it was added to, to MailChimp. You can even log into MailChimp and see what that looks like. So one second while I do that. Here's my Zapier test list, and I can see that um, this subscriber was just added, and this was the date and time just a few minutes ago. And now I'm gonna go back to Zapier. Just hit finish. Name my Zap, um, launch 27. And I can turn it on. If you want, you can look at it on your dashboard. Here it is. 
And what I'm going to do is now I'll show you how it works, how the thing works in action. I'm going to create a booking for a brand new customer and I'm going to see it show up in my MailChimp list. All right, here I am on the, I'm actually logged in as a staff user and I'm just going to create a booking here. Now, no matter what happens, whether you use the, the booking form on your website or a customer logs in through their own account or if you create one as a staff, the Zapier triggers will still work. It'll know that when a booking was created or when a customer is created or updated. So here, I'm just going to click Save Changes. Okay, so now I'm back in uh, MailChimp and I want to refresh this page to see if my customer was loaded. And here it is. It's the one I just used to create the booking. And um, now you see that when a new customer gets created in Launch 27, it is automatically synced to MailChimp. So that's about it. There's a lot of different zaps you can create, and I encourage you guys to uh, try a lot of different things and just give me back, give me some feedback on how to make things better. Thanks.